We're gonna go on this journey. We have 1,000 stones. Good luck, y'all. Ah, that would have been good. Second Ted attempt. Oh my God, come on, 6%. We're at a hundred stones already. Come on, man. That one pen attempt gave me hope. Oh my god! Da! We're almost 300 stones in. Oh, 400 stones already used, boys. Halfway, boys. 500 stones down. Anything's gonna be good? <gasps> no! Okay! Dude, less than 200 left. Come on. Come on. Sixth attempt. Today. I don't know how many attempts before I did it before, but... Come on. Best. No. GG's. Thousand times. One click is like around 40 mil around, right? Or one fail is 40 mil. How much would you say that I just lost money-wise? Would it be nice to say 40 billion silver? Okay, we got the tet. Unfortunately, we wasted the big stack because we almost had the stack for the Dark Hungers. Never lucky. Never lucky. Nope. We did it! Satisfaction! The reason why it's tedious and awful is because it gives you a 130 stack. That's why. Today in the morning I got the 130 stack from the Sekraya Underwater Dungeon just because we have the Dark Hungries. So now the 130 stack becomes 198. So 211. What happened and why did I do what did I do? So the reason I attempted Pen Blaster is because I wanted more silver. I didn't get it, obviously, because Pen Blaster is hard to get. Now the new project begins where I save money. And how do I do that? By doing my first ever 1 million trash loot challenge. It's gonna be just me grinding for... I think I counted 75 hours in the new Elvia Giant. It is a not a good spot overall. So the, with my calculations of doing 13,300 trash, I will uh, get to my 1 million trash goal in 75 hours. The reason why I want to do it in Giants is because I like Giants and it's a nice human spot. So, so far I did four hours. I just 71 more hour to go. And so far my average is 500 mil, but I think I'm just getting really unlucky because I'm getting six and four despairs. And I assume you all saw the Succession Zerker with 260 item drop uh, went to Sonal's where he just went around and killed Agile Mobs in an empty server because now with this video live and it's being posted on Reddit and it's being very live, congratulations dude. <laughs> uh, you showed it that the fact that Sonal's is busted. Obviously, he, this guy got carried as well with the above average uh, despair drops, but he literally just went around, killed only agiles, and from agiles, he dropped also the uh, these guys, the captains, which have a higher chance of dropping despairs. And at the end of the video, you can see him have 43 despairs or 1.3 billion silver at 30 million. I basically made the comparison to the old bloody monastery spot where you go around and uh, just jump around the whole rotation and you just kill elites and then you just drop seeds, which are 10 million silver uh, flat. But then they hard nerfed it and the spot became pretty useless. Right now it used to be the best nail spot and kind of the seed spot and it kind of competed with the orcs. But nowadays, I think um, Swamp Nagas are still the best for the nail drops. Those are the news. Why am I saving silver for? Well, uh, the reason is, is because I want to do 10,000 of Imperfect Lightstone uh, Cooks. 
So you get ready. I'm about to end this whole section soon. I guess in 70 hours. <laughs> Whenever I'm done with the grind. So it should cost me around um, 140, 100. Maybe if I get the materials cheaper, but I already bought the Firestones when they were 5 mil each. And I, I guess I should have bought them now. <laughs> Because now they're like 4 mil, I think. They're going down pretty fast. I think I was, bought it. I was buying them here. And they were slowly dropping. Anyways, so this this project is going to be need, like needing me to get around 100, 100 extra billion silver. So uh, that's why I'm going to go grind giants. Also, um, I am keeping everything in storage just because I think personally... 1 million trash doesn't look good in the inventory, but you know what looks good in the inventory? Every single bit out of the trash. So these are just 4 hours of grind, 53k trash loot, 29 despairs. The only thing that I kind of said, that the fact that now that that video of Succession Zerker grinding, um, despairs should be falling faster than the usual. Or I guess I guess it's stabilizing. People still pre-ordering, which is blowing my mind. I don't know where people are rushing with these, but you know, I'll let them do them their thing. Oh, also they added a new way to get an additional fence uh, or Klaus additional fence. So now you can have two of them, which basically saves you 20 CP. So that's pretty cool. So you just go to the old moon uh, vendor, Klau, at least in Velia. I don't know but they're, uh, about other towns and you do a quest where you plant a special wheat and uh, I think you only need like like 10 or 5 if I think people are pre-ordering 50 each you don't need that much it's uh, pretty simple damn there's thousands of pre-orders jeez people um, but yeah you don't need that much you only need like 10 it doesn't require you to farm the seeds and only it requires you to harvest the special wheat so you don't need to pre-order 50 so oh also wanted to include and shout out to uh k-man or kaiman i'm not sure how to pronounce his name but i watched this video of like where are the locations for the rest of the sakraya nodes for the 130 stack so if you do need a good stack or 130 stack um please follow his um video I will put him in the description. Definitely worth a nice watch. But yeah, I think uh, me doing the video or me doing 70 hours in the Giants is going to be helpful for everybody. You know, maybe I'm just not figuring out and eventually I'll figure out how to properly do the, um, the Giants. And there's some kind of secret mechanic where I can also get 43 despair drops, right? Uh, we'll see. But now... I'm going to see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. And us here, the true professional fishers, is going to see you next time on stream. Have a good one.